and PCP flow. So, I already have shown you this how this cavity is moving. Um, so, cavity increase uh, RPM to double, your flow rate will be double because number of cavities will be increasing to double. Okay. And fixed one cavity will be delivering only fixed amount of fluid. So, number uh, you can increase rate of moving cavities that means, rate of flow rate also will change, rate, uh, flow rate also will change. Now, uh, Mirnal has already shown this 4 E eccentricity, this rotor center and rotor center, this is 4 E he has written and this is diameter D. Okay. Uh, now, how the leakage is happening? Okay. If you see, I have drawn this picture, uh, this animation in using PowerPoint. Uh, this rotor is rotating. Okay. Uh, one thing you can see, when it is rotating in the top, when it is moving this this direction, so this one moving like this, this one. So this area A B A area you see, it is walking when it is moving this direction. Okay, it is just rolling in A area. Rolling. Say this is rotor. Okay, this is my rotor. Uh, I'll take bigger one. Let's say this is my rotor. Huh? Okay, so when it is rolling. It is rolling. So, one side is rolling over this one, but when it is moving this direction, you see this sliding happening here. One face is rolling, another face it is sliding actually. You see sliding, okay, rotating and moving, okay. So, when it is rotating again this direction, walking here on the upper side, but bottom side sliding. Okay. So, one surface sliding, one surface rubbing. Okay. You see properly this uh, uh, my animation rotor rolling and moving also. So, one surface when it is moving one direction, okay. this direction A, B. Okay. Uh, rolling when direction is this okay, and sliding when direction is this, but opposite story will be changed A will be sliding B will be rolling you see properly. Right? So, when these things are happening uh, in fluid mechanics in fluid dynamics actually one surface fixed another surface moving. Okay, I can approximate is like this one surface another surface. So, when it is sliding, when it is sliding, it is sliding, I can approximate it is a flat plate, if I enlarge the top portion. Okay. So, one surface fixed here, another surface actually sliding over another. When sliding, your fluid dynamics or leakage property will be changing. When it is rolling, leakage will be different. So, many people try to formulate how this leakage happening. So, uh, Gamboa and many other authors they have formulated and uh, this Minal also presented his thesis. Uh, he has not developed, but he has presented. So, leakage formula is like this 8 B W Q del P C mu L. Okay. So, uh, B means width. W means height and L means length. So, how it is working? Where is my rotor and stator? You see rotor and stator touching. Okay. So, rotor and stator is having a ceiling area. Okay. So, let us say this is ceiling area. Okay. This is ceiling area means uh, uh, you see my picture. This is ceiling area. I marked in red color. You see this is ceiling area. If I enlarge it, it will be almost flat actually. If I enlarge. Okay. If I say, uh, if I take very small area, so I can approximate this is flat area. Okay. So, I can assume this is flat surface. Okay. This is flat area. So, this area I am doing like this. This is flat area and what is the gap? Gap is W. Gap means this rotor and stator in between the gap is W. And what is L? L is means this is my leakage length. Okay. This is length. Length is going like this this is going like this this is leakage length okay so leakage length is l 
and what is W? W is how much clearance is there in between rotor and stator. This is W. Okay, this is W actually. So this is actually this big. So I am take I have cut only this one to show that the small portion can be approximated as flat. And what is L? Uh, okay, uh, B. Uh, Mm. No, B actually this one, B is leakage length and L, how much total length I am taking in this area. So, this is L, this is L actually, okay. this is L and B actually this leakage length. Okay. So, you should remember W implying yeah, how much clearance you are giving between rotor and stator and L means in the clearance how much distance you are taking for to make a flat plate and B is the total length of the leakage. Okay. Now uh, many uh, terms are unknown here, C is unknown, C is frictional constant, so normally we will not have value but we can give an exam and, and del P is the pressure difference, how much pressure you are giving, let us say P high, high pressure is one cavity, one side high pressure, another P low, low pressure is there. So, this gap will have high pressure and low pressure, right. So, the difference P high minus P low and mu is viscosity, mu is viscosity, mu is viscosity, okay. Now, Q s is your leakage flow rate and Q a is actual flow rate, Q is, so Q theoretical minus Q S, mm, Q A actual flow rate, Q S leakage flow rate, Q uh, S leakage flow rate, okay. This is leakage, leakage flow rate, okay. Uh, so, using this one we can calculate from, for example, uh, how this leakage W can affect your leakage. Say, so, if clearance size W increased from 0 0.001 to 0 0.002 or we are making W actually double, W2 equals 2W1, okay. So, if you are making W or leakage double, so your flow rate will be, leakage rate will be increasing, increased by 8 times because it is cubic term, W cube is there, okay. So, Q s actually proportional to W q. So, W is double that means it will be 8 times okay. uh, and percentage wise it will be uh, percentage of, uh, of flow uh, Q S 2 minus Q S 1 Q S 1. So, it will give uh, uh, 8 minus 1 divided by uh, 1. So, 7 into 100. No? 700 percent, okay. 700 percent increase will be there in your leakage flow rate. So, small change in leakage flow rate, it will be affecting very much in your flow rate, leakage area if you change small amount. So, uh, already you know this uh, rotor diameter D, pitch length, P R for rotor and for stator P S. Okay. So, relationship is that P R equals to P S or P S plus 1. Okay. So, if I uh, for 1 2 pump or 1 is to 2 pump or 1 2 pump. So, in that case uh, it will be double. So, in, our, in my case whatever I am showing here. So, that will be uh, rotor pitch and stator pitch. Uh, rotor pitch will be stator pitch will be 2 times rotor pitch. So, I did some mistake here, I think it will be 2 P R equals P S. Okay. Uh, for a multi lobe system, multi lobe system, so there uh, P S equals L R plus 1 divided by L R into P R. So, this formula will be there. And multi lobe like normally 3 is to 4, 4 is to 5 that sort of will be there. So, uh, one pitch will be high, uh, higher in uh, 
stator okay rotor pitch will be lower so uh, uh, number of lobes uh, here it is single lobe single lobe means it is complete circular it can be two lobe rotor also like uh, stator can be like this and rotor can be like this okay uh, it will be three lobe four lobe five lobe okay uh, so stator lobe will be higher than rotor lobe okay length of cavity length of cavity uh, will be formula will be like this number of cavities c equals l r h s p r minus 1 c is your number of cavities number of cavities l r is your uh, already you know number of rotor lobes number of Rotor, uh, rotor lobes uh, hs is your length of the rotor uh, length of the stator length of the stator and pr is the length of the rotor pitch so this is the relationship length of the cavity is the pitch of uh, pitch length pitch length of stator already uh, Minal has given information regarding pump displacement so pump displacement is equal to 4 v e uh, 4 e d p s ok so v is the pump displacement uh, e means eccentricity eccentricity d is the diameter of rotor Uh, P is the stator pitch. Uh, P is the stator pitch. Okay, theoretical torque uh, formula is that uh, theoretical torque tau equals tau O del P into D into E into PR. Okay, uh, and the terms are tau is the torque corresponding rotor pitch length. A torque corresponding to to rotor rotor pitch length. Del P is the head rating. A specific torque of the pump. A specific of the pump d is the uh, reference diameter of the pump A reference dia of the pump e is the eccentricity already you know pr is the rotor uh, pitch length you know that ah, load on the thrust bearing like because a uh, whole system uh, the long rod will be there. So, thrust bearing load bearing load uh, F B equals pi del P 2 E plus D divided by 4. The stator can be identified using this code V V V H H L R E E E. Uh, so, V V B is the uh, displacement, displacement. So, uh, meter cube per day at 100 rpm. H H is the maximum head rating, max head rating of the pump. L R is the number of lobes in the rotor. E E E is the uh, ma manufacturer's code. Manufacturer's code for the elastomer.
okay similarly we will have rotor code rotor code will be like this v v v h h y y y so v v v is the displacement so it is meter cube per day uh, at 100 rpm and h h h is the head rating of pump head rating of pump mpa okay head rating of pump in mpa and y y uh, is the length of the length of uh, the rotor uh, protruding below below uh, the bottom of the elastomer when the rotor when the rotor head is at the top of the elastomer like esp system if pcp is also having gas then you have to handle that one properly one way is that install pcp below perforations perforation is here but your pump should be below pump should be here okay so what will happen when reservoir is producing so gas will go up okay liquid will fall down high density okay below the uh, pump intake okay gas will go up is called natural gas separator separator install pump below perforation okay so uh, this is the simplest easiest way uh, normally saccharide pump and esp all the uh, cases you use this one in another case is that you use some gas separator or artificial uh, mechanism so that gas will be going up moving up so create certain mechanism when fluid will be falling here gas and pump is here uh, and gas will go up okay so fluid will be here perforations is here okay so liquid is going here and gas is going up okay. so this way also you can separate gas if you have gas pcp can handle maximum 30% 30% gas PCP can handle okay but uh, if you are using uh, high temperature uh, and gas also there then there will be issue uh, sand certain amount of sand a PCP can handle because uh, sand okay, it, it will be filled it will be filling the cavity it will be moving up but where it will be high normally PCP life will be like say four to six months why four to six months because this elastomer where elastomer wears out okay because elastomer wears out uh, pcp life is very low continuously rubbing one surface is working another surface rubbing i already explained because of this one pcp life will be very low actually but uh, many well bows are there where no other pump working i was reading one document they are uh, author written that pcp is a progressive thinking pump if no pump is working put a pcp and see whether things are working 
if PCP not working then no pump can uh, deliver fluid actually ok. So, P P that is why the author wrote like P progressive thinking pump ok although it is name name is progressive cavity pump, but just uh, to create attention the he used the term progressive thinking pump ok. Now, see some problem simple problem you can uh, prepare for this sort of problem for your exam if the PCP speed doubles flow rate becomes 2 times right. If the clearance between the rotor and stator becomes double the leakage rate becomes ok it will be uh, clearance peak rate doubles then 1 eighth I mean, sorry uh, clearance become double then it will be uh, 8 times leakage rate become 8 times if the centri uh, cent it is because you can see flow rate uh, leakage q s term was there I think ok. So, s uh, is equals to constant into w q right. So, if w is double now q s 1 k same constant I am using w becomes 2 w doubles that means 8 k w q. Now, q s 1 by q s equals 8 by 1. Okay. Now, a 3 is to 4 lobe PCP implies uh, 3 lobes actually it will be rotor 3 you can see this PCP 1 lobe 1 lobe means this one circle and 2 lobes means this 2 end 2 end is there 1 end is here or another end is, end is here. If you have 3 lobe then 3 end will be there in stator ok 4 lobe. So, 3 is to 4 means 3 lobe will be there on rotor and 4 lobe will be in the status. Multi lobe rotor pitch length formula ok this formula already given problem if 2 lobe rotor has a pitch length 2 inches uh, the restrictor pitch length will be use the formula ok. Now, metallic PCP I said like elastomeric PCP is having issue like continuously rubbing and if you are using for very high temperature application elastomer is having temperature limitation for high temperature high pressure well bore you are thinking to apply, but then in that case elastomer may face difficulty. So, to avoid this one some uh, companies they develop metallic PCP metallic PCP means all metal PCP sometimes they say all metal PCP uh, or metallic PCP metallic PCP means metal will be there, but elastomer will not be there here no elastomer. inside the uh, stator ok, but in elastomeric PCP or conventional PCP elastomeric layer was there in my in my case just uh, simple software materi uh, material so I did not have any elastomer here, but normally elastomer will be there here inside one layer will be there ok, but in metallic PCP no layer direct metal rod uh, metal rotor metal stator rotating inside ok. So, whenever metal to metal connection is there P, uh, if I have elastomer, elastomer can depress you can push it you can pull it you can rotate it things are ok. But if I have metal to metal if you can make interference this is a tight fit things will not work. For example, if I have rot rotor like this and if I have stator ok and very tightly fit. So, rotor will not be rotating or it will not move actually. So, things will not work. So, what metallic PCP people those, those company people they have done they kept some clearance ok some gap between rotor and stator. So, that gap will allow rotor to rotate ok. So, this is compulsory gap actually compulsory clearance ok. You can make 0 or certain positive no negative negative clearance means uh, uh, rotor diameter is higher than your stator cavity ok. So, clearance is must no elastomer in the stator rotor is metal as usual rotor is metal rotor we are not changing rotor ok. We are changing only elastomeric part we are removing no elastomer. So, rotor and stator completely metal clearance between rotor and stator is required. So, now you are giving clearance now what is happening uh, flow rate you calculated ok k into w q. 
So, W you are giving intentionally. So, leakage rate will be high. Then how to avoid this one? So, you can check properly this formula WQ and 1 mu also there. So, increase viscosity. Okay. The formula is that mu L del P. Uh, this type of formula is there, right? Q equals K. I am putting all the un un uh, unnecessary term as constant. So, now mu, mu if I can change, then again flow rate can be changed. So, mu if I make higher, then Q leakage or Q is leakage will be lower. So, this will be used for very high viscosity fluid, for high viscosity fluid. For thin fluid, if you are using, then leakage rate will be very high. Next thing, one is high viscosity, next is high temperature. If I higher temperature, elastomer, there is elastomeric, if you are using, there is limit, but in this case, there is no elastomer, so there is no limit. Thin fluid pumping gives larger leakage is good to high temperature. So, this PCP is designed basically for high temperature application. Elastomer wear and tear failure not there because elastomer is not there completely metal, but in this case high precision required. Let us say rotor a small bend is there if it is touching stator then it will be rubbing at very high rate. Okay. So, high pressure high force will be required. So, that can give a failure. So, to avoid that one you need very high precision a few companies they are making actually the sort of uh, elastomeric uh, non elastomeric or all metallic or metal metallic PCP. Okay. So, PCP name already coined. So, people are using this metallic PCP term extra. Um, okay. So, if it is elastomeric no uh, no term is used it is only PCP, but if you are using only metallic metallic rotor metallic stator no elastomer. So, you are using metallic PCP the term. And metallic PCP leakage I said like uh, it will give more leakage. How? So, I have taken this information from a research paper. So, the paper say like this is pressure, how much pressure it is developing, okay. how much flow rate is developing. You see this one uh, for different rpm. Okay. This is uh, I think 100 rpm, this is 150 rpm, this is 200 rpm. Okay. So, RPM increasing your flow rate increasing this is natural I told already. So, RPM double means your flow rate also double okay. 100 to 200 if you see uh, 27 20 okay. 22 23. So, here also you see 46 around uh, flow rate changed okay almost double if you are changing your RPM 100 200 okay. Uh, now, pressure increasing your leakage increasing so flow rate is going down you see this flow rate is going down because of pressure in increasing pressure flow rate is going down okay it is like this q uh, and pressure and flow rate is going down because of pressure increase okay why because you have given already leakage so fixed amount fluid will be leaking continuously so you are getting lower flow rate next is clearance how clearance is affecting? Clearance is cubic power, right? WQ term was there. So, because of WQ term, you see how this flow rate is dropping quickly. Okay. Clearance increasing, flow rate dropping. So, when there is no pressure difference, 0 MPa, 0 mega Pascal they has written, uh, they have written. So, 0 MPa, there is no leakage. Okay. When pressure increasing, 4 MPa, this is 4. M P A, this is 8 M P A, this is 12 M P A. Why this uh, pre pressure changing and flow rate changing? You can remember again the formula Q S equals K into del P or I can write like this a proportional to del P. So, del P increasing flow rate in a uh, del p increasing leakage increasing okay so because of leakage increasing you are getting lower flow rate your flow rate is going down this is also uh, this is actual flow rate this is also actual okay yeah liquid leakage flow rate going down stage effect stage effect i said like one stage will be producing certain amount of fluid two stage three stage if you are increasing number of stage then you are getting more 
less leakage actually because uh, your total pressure drop is divi getting divided. So, each leakage area, each cavity is getting lower amount of pressure, low pressure, low pressure, low pressure, let's say 5 bar, 5 bar, 5 bar, 5 bar. But if you are having only one stage, that means all, let's say 100 bar pressure you are giving. So, all 100 bar will be coming into one leakage area. But if you are having several stages, then that number of stages will get small amount of pressure difference, small pressure difference, small pressure difference, small pressure difference. Small pressure difference. So, your total leakage rate will be going down because each stage is getting lower pressure difference. Okay. So, lower pressure difference is getting this lower leakage each stage will get. But if you have instead of 5 stage or 10 stage or 20 stage, if you have only 1 stage, then all pressure will be differential pressure inlet and outlet will be acting on this one leakage area. So, you will get more leakage. Okay. So, number of stages increasing, you are getting better flow rate. Okay you see this 0 mega Pascal uh, 4 this is 8 this is 12. So, whenever your pressure is low you are getting very high pre high flow rate because of leakage this is leakage flow rate. So, this is not same actually this is leakage. So, this is actual Q actual actually. So, Q actual equals Q theoretical minus Q leakage. Okay, so thank you very much for today's lecture. Uh, next day we'll bring some new topic on this PCP. Thank you very much.